you guys welcome back to my garden in today's video I'm gonna be going in and I'm gonna do a little bit of container maintenance to those two terracotta pots that we planted up earlier in the season now everything's still looking good for the most part so I don't have any intentions on pulling them for right now and that could very well change do that and then I want to make a quick run to the garden center I have two planters that I wanted to get planted up kind of in this area here let's go ahead and start the maintenance for the containers it'll be really quick ranunculus right here beautiful blooms but it's kind of like bent over that's not what it's supposed to do I am going to go ahead and cut that and then this ranunculus as well so this got blew over from the wind and this one as well roses on this stem here this rose is in perfect beautiful condition this rose is past their prime so I'm just going to come in and just make a cut right here leave the other one to go on and bloom now for this rose what I'm going to do is follow it down till I have a set of five leaves so you see this one is one two three one two can you guys see that one two three one two three one two three four five or i could cut it here or i can go down to this set of one two three four five so if i cut it here it's going to branch off in that direction so i'm going to cut it right there i have my containers dead headed let me show you guys the two the pair of containers that i want to get planted up you know just to go ahead and set an entire vibe for when you walk into this garden these are the two containers that I want to get planted up. So let's go ahead, run the Sherwoods Forest, see what they have in the greenhouses. Because he's been posting a lot of beautiful gems on his Instagram page. I need to get over there, see what's in the greenhouses because those plants won't be there for long. So let's go shopping. inside because I picked out some beautiful plants there but I have a few things I may or may not use in these containers you know with my inventory that I already have on hand so let me run in get those plants some vinca miter some roses and some quarter line
Suburbia by Proven Winners. And what I like about it, it is very compact. Now, Euphorbia actually falls in the same family as the poinsettia. So the blooms that you see on those are not really flowers. Those are actually part of the what are called like brats. I wanted to change out the metal obelisk or obelisk. Just all depends on where you're from. I started to change those out. I started to actually pull them and not use them at all. Now, one of the things to think about, the miniature roses are perennials. The vinca vine is actually a perennial in some zones in the annual. So the vinca vine can actually be pulled up and be over winter inside of the house, as well as the miniature roses. Now, the miniature roses are hardy down to zone four. I can leave those in or I can pop them out or use them somewhere else. I can technically put them in my landscape because they are a perennial. But I'm very satisfied on the look. Let me know down in the comment box what do you think about these beautiful containers. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!